up guys welcome to another video with your buddy the roller coaster crafter and today i'm going to show you something that i've been getting asked a lot lately so basically anytime i build a launch coaster the thing i always get asked is how does the launch work? And today I just finally decided, okay, fine. I will show a little tutorial on how this launch works. So let's go to the set of West Coast Racers and I will show you how the launch mechanism works. So on your launch system, what you're gonna wanna have is obviously you wanna have the runway of the track and you want to have something that is clipping to the car. So right here we have a set of chain that wraps all the way around here and all the way to the end of the launch track. And that is one is what is going to be propelling the car forwards. So that's how that's gonna be working. Let me just wind this back just a bit. Now the thing that is gonna make this work is the launch works kind of like a wind-up toy. So what we have here, we have the main gear where the chain is connected, that black gear right there, and then we have this red gear. This red gear will lock into place every time you wind it back. So we have the crank right here, you can make whatever handle you want, and basically what it's doing is you're gonna rotate it backwards, rotating the chain backwards, winding it back. And what that is doing is, the chain is also hooked up to these rubber bands right here. And those rubber bands are constantly stretching in, and gaining potential energy for when to release it. And once it's released, the rubber bands then slash it backwards and then the train is then propelled forwards. So as you keep winding it back, the red gear is also locking into place by a pin. And that pin right there, that yellow connector piece is actually under it and keeping it from going forwards right, at, right after you wind it back. So as you wind it back, you wind it back to as much as you can, and then when you're ready, the train comes onto the track, and then you just want to release the pin. And the way I release the pin, I have a lever, if you see that gray rod right there that's protruding out of the station. Once you pull the lever up, the train then propels forward, so just like this. So that's really how this launch system works. It's nothing too complex, it's just a simple manual design. I will tell you this though, the stronger your power source, like for the source that I have is rubber bands, that's what's making it launch, the stronger your source is, the more harder it will be to crank your system backwards, like roll, roll the chain back and um, re rewind the power source back. The stronger it is, the harder it is, because there's so much stress in the power source that it could cause it to like, stall or maybe it, it'll get stuck somewhere. So that's why I just use some rubber bands. These stretch pretty far and they are really powerful when you release them. So that's what I'd say to do for your launch. You can build this however you want and also post in the comments below if you have any questions about this. And also don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials as I will keep them coming on this channel. Thank you guys. I'll see you next time on the Coaster Crafter channel. Peace.